Installing this metal ceiling tile, they call it tin. I think it's actually steel. This one is uh, pattern is called Chicago. It's copper, and it, it may be a little bit dark. Um, I'm not sure. We'll find out. I'll show you where I'm going to put this. It's going in here. This is the bathroom, and it's going in here. Um, the manufacturer suggests that you put down underlayment, which is what this is here. Foam insulation up here. So, you know, if it's dark um, in here, I don't really mind so much because it's just the bathroom. If I like this stuff, I'm going to be putting it in here in the kitchen and living space. And uh, this, this is going to come out. This... Uh, sheet metal here. I should have done this when I did the bus and I didn't know any better. Uh, you know, if you want a good uh, example of how to do this correctly, if you look at some of uh, Steampunk Steve's old videos where he gutted the inside and he put in spray foam insulation, uh, that would be a good thing to watch. That's what I should have done, but I didn't know better. I did this bus long before Steampunk Steve was posting videos. So I'm kind of retrofitting it. But anyway, in here, I'm going to take this sheet metal off. There's fiberglass insulation up there. I'm going to take that out and put in spray foam. Now, with normal tile, you start in the middle and lay your way out toward the edges, but you don't do that with this stuff. You start at the end. So it takes some careful preparation. You want it centered. You can see where I kind of outlined it with a chalk line where it's going to go. Um, you want the, the tile to be centered. So this is actually the center line here. Uh, you want the tile centered both ways. So I had to figure that out. And then I don't have any, these things are kind of expensive. I don't have any extras either. So this is a piece of cardboard that I'm using as a template to make sure I get this first one in here correctly. Um, I'm going to have a piece of angle iron here that's holding up the roof rack. angle iron here that's holding up the roof rack so um, I'm gonna go just on the other side of it starting with the tile here right about there and doing that it just happens to be this stuff is two feet long and the span I need to go is six feet so works out very nicely I won't have to cut anything for the ends but just for this edge here and because uh, this is uh, it's about three feet across here so each of these is around six inches on the end, but you can see this one here has to fit this contour here. So I'm going to lay that up against the end and cut it with the tin snips and hope for the best. Because like I said, I don't have any extras. If, and it took like three weeks. I had to order it and it took like three weeks to get here. So if I screw one up, uh, I won't be very happy. Here's my first piece ready to put up. I measured this thing and re-measured it and re-re-measured it. Because if I screw this one up, it's going to screw up the whole thing. But I think this is good. It's going to go right there. I need to drill holes. You're supposed to normally put these up with um, finishing nails, but I'm going to use finishing screws. I'm going to use something like this. So I'm just going to take my punch here and uh, right up where I want the hole. And drill these out.
And here's the ceiling in the bathroom. You can see for my fire sprinkler, I used copper just because it kind of went along with it. Ended up painting the angle iron black. So I'm happy with how it turned out, although it's a little dark um, for the front area. So I like the copper, but it's just, and like I said, I don't mind for the bathroom. It's fine, but I'm, I'm going to use, I am going to use this stuff in the front, but it's going to be a different pattern. And it's going to be uh, like a stainless steel, probably, type color. But in here, I really like how it turned out. And, uh, well, I think that's it for this time. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time.